So in this video, I want to take a look at sketching y equals e to the x take away 3, take away 6. So let's draw on some axes. And we should identify first that there will be a horizontal asymptote of y equals minus 6. Okay. Now, our exponential curve, e to the x take away 3, is just the normal e to the x, but translated three units to the right. So it'll look like this. So I'm interested in where it crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. It crosses the y-axis when x is 0. So that would be e to the 0 take away 3 take away 6. Now, you could plug that into your calculator, um, but I'm going to write it in exact form. So that's e to the minus 3 take away 6. OK? Now you could, as I said, you could plug it into your calculator. Um, the E button on the class whiz, the fx 901 ex is on the right-hand side in yellow, so you've got to go press shift and then the ln button, and then minus 3, and then take away 6. And you should get minus 5.95. But you want to get used to writing these things in exact form. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now, where does it cross the x-axis? Well, that is when y is 0. So 0 equals e to the x take away 3 take away 6. Add the 6 to both sides. And now we want to go from exponential form to logarithmic form. Now, in the previous video, I introduced that you could write log base e as ln. So I want to get into the habit of doing that. So x take away 3 is log base e, so ln, of 6. And then add the 3 to both sides. So the exact form for this point is natural log of 6 plus 3. You'll see more about ln um, as the natural logarithm in uh, the section on logarithms. Okay, So at the moment, it will just seem like a label. Um, but it's fine to treat it like that at this point, just so you can kind of get used to seeing it. 